So I found two very interesting videos in the Am I the A-hole section of two fathers who are complete deadbeat dads. Basically, these women who they're married to are married single moms, and it is incredibly sad. We're going to jump right in. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share this video. And I'm also an author. I wrote the book 30 Reasons Why Men Deserve Nothing, like these two males in this video. And you can always find it on Amazon and read it free if you have Kindle Unlimited. Now let's jump right in. So the first Reddit post is, am I the a-hole for unplugging the Wi-Fi during my husband's video games? So they say, to start off with, my husband works nights. I stay at home with the baby because childcare is too expensive. Our baby is just over a month old. And if you have kids, you know it's 24 seven around the clock care for a newborn. I've been taking care of her all on my own for the entirety of the week with little to no help since he sleeps all day, eats dinner and leaves for work. Husband has weekends off, so we agreed he'd take over for me on weekends so I can have some sort of peace of mind and rest. And guys, already this sounds like that whole 50-50 relationship where there's really no such thing. The woman is working and taking care of the... Ch she's working around the house, cooking, cleaning, taking care of a newborn baby for five days a week. Man comes home from work and he is supposed to be taking two days during the week to take care of the child, of his own child. That's not 50-50 to me. Especially because, like, work around the house never ends, whereas at least you can clock out of work outside the home. Anyways, I'm just saying. I guess this man sounds like he's living his drizzle-drizzle life, but let's keep going. He stays up all night with baby while I care for her during the day. However, today he decided he wanted to sleep earlier than usual since he said he was tired. Fine, I let him sleep all day. Then, when he woke up, I made him- I even made him dinner. So I've been up since 4 a.m. doing around-the-clock care with a colicky baby. I'm exhausted. He played video games the entire two hours it took me to prepare and cook dinner. Fine, no problem. Fast forward after dinner. I fed baby once again, even though it's supposed to be his shift. He starts playing video games again. Fine. Baby is sleeping. Shouldn't be a problem. Two hours roll around and she's up screaming because she's pooped her diaper and needs to be fed again. I look at him and he gets angry with me because I expect him to care for his daughter. I end up changing the baby. I brought her back to him expecting him to feed her. Well, I guess I was wrong. He screamed at me and told me, leave him the F alone, and that he wanted his personal time. He claims that since he let me sleep for four hours last night that I had personal time and he deserves some too. I get frustrated and go back into the room with baby and feed her. During the feeding, I got so angry, I went into the closet and unplugged the Wi-Fi. He comes in and starts arguing with me and acting like a damn child because he has responsibilities. I'm exhausted and at my limit. Am I the a-hole? And women are often asking if they're the a-hole just for having feelings that are completely justified. This is a mother who's not getting a lot of help from her husband. Like during the weekends, he's supposed to at least take two days off to care for the baby. That's his turn. And he's shirking it to play video games. Two hours of video games is already a lot of time to decompress for a grown man, yet he continued playing for more hours after that, seeing that his wife was tired. And his excuse is that she got to sleep for four hours, so that counts as her personal time, and he deserves his personal time? Are you kidding? If her personal time counts as sleep, then his should too. When you're sleeping, that's your personal time. Get up and take care of your child. Anyways, in the end, people said not the a-hole to this whole situation, because duh. But let's read a few comments. Ah, the first comment. Someone says, so your personal time is spent sleeping. By the time he sleeps doesn't count as his personal time. Exactly. Exactly. They said, anyways, he spent four hours playing video games already today. How much time has he spent with his child? Definitely NTA. But your husband is, but your husband is a huge one. Yeah, and I thought this person was actually going to say that, like, since you got four hours of video games, you don't need to sleep tonight. You can take care of the child because that was you decided to spend your personal time playing video games instead of sleeping. You can go take care of the child all day. <laughs> but anyways, um, OP says he barely spends time with her at all. And when he has her, she cries and cries. I don't think she's bonding to him properly. He does the bare minimum when he has her feeds, changes and burps. Then he then sets her down and pretends like she's not there unless she's disturbing him with crying. Then he gets angry and asks, what do you want? I eventually and always take her when he starts that. 
someone says you have two kids then yeah exactly one you're married to why are you with him when he's just using you to be a mother maid chef nurse and a seg slave you should think about that exactly and then op says he wasn't anything like this before she arrived for the first week he was great it's like a switch was flipped or something and it's really sad because i hear this a lot there's three different times where males might change up when you're in a relationship with them one is when you go exclusive one is after you're married and then the other time is after you have children so there's there's all these pivotal points where you're getting more and more attached to them and it's harder to break away and then they realize that and then if they're a great person they remain consistent they remain the person you met right but if there's something they're hiding about themselves the more and more stuck you are to them when the marriage license is signed, when you're living together, when the kid comes and there's that they're the anchor and there's like it's harder and harder to separate yourself from the, the husband. That's when you'll see the true self come out. You know, it's that's why they say it's so hard to vet. I don't know. I feel so bad for OP. This is a really sad situation and you can't even say oh she chose wrong because he was hiding this lazy side of himself right and so many of these guys they they want women in their life who want children like they always want sh women to have children or they'll tell you that you're selfish but in the end they don't actually want children either like they want you to be burdened with the child but when it comes to actually raising the child they don't want to be, they want to do the bare minimum and scream at you and say, leave me the F alone. Are you kidding? I hope she leaves him. Leave him and then let him have the child for one week and then you have the child for the next week and you'll have more free time. That's the irony. So this person says, not the a-hole, your poor baby. It was your husband's shift and turn, but he has turned off and wants to do his own thing. He's being lazy and selfish and he's not doing his fair share. You need rest and a break. And it's just obvious. Um, OP says, I feel like I'm really generous with the video games too. I don't have a problem with it, but I just need a little help. Why does it feel like so much to ask? I haven't gotten a full sleep since the day she was born. He sleeps every freaking day for eight to 10 hours. Wow. I feel like I'm losing it here. My baby is colicky because she has a dairy allergy and reflux. We're transitioning to a new formula and she just cries and cries. And he'll let her if I don't go in and get her. It's breaking me. This is so sad. This is a married single mom. And I just hope she gets the help and support that she needs from like her family and friends. I think she needs to be closer to like if she can move closer to her family and friends or if they can come over and, and help. And I think she just needs to ditch this guy because he's just a burden at this point. So this person says, if it were me, I'd incinerate anything having to do with video games until that kid is five. I'm so sorry. You need help one way or another. Do you have friends or family who can be of any support, even emotional? From your posts and comments, it sounds like you are just breaking and it's not your fault. And then OP says, I've had so many intrusive thoughts about just going into the living room and smashing the PlayStation so many times. My family's all the way across the country, so they're not here for help. I was figuring that she didn't have her community around her. Um... She says, they give me money sometimes because they know my situation, which is nice to have something to myself. But other than that, since we're married, there's not much I can do. I don't have any friends since I moved up here for him. No, you never move. You never move for males. You never, ever, ever move for males. Oh my goodness. So many, th like, so many things are wrong with the situation. Um, Because then you're isolated and then you don't have your support and you don't have your community and then... It's just easier to be taken advantage of and just abused and just, you know, you kind of give up your life for them. And oh, I feel so terrible for her. She says, and I never get to leave the house since I'm caring for the baby and he doesn't want her in public too, which I understand. I just think it'd be nice to leave once in a while. Yeah, they keep, that's why a lot of males, even though they don't like children, they will trap you up with a child because it's more of a control thing where they know you can't go anywhere. You're stuck. I've anchored you to the house. I've anchored you to not having a job. <laughs> you know, I've made you reliant on my money. Like, it's just a way of like ultimately controlling a woman a lot of the time um, when they're just, when they are insistent on having children with you and then they want nothing to do with children. It's like, there's, there's an ulterior motive going on. This is the ultimate form of control. And I hope she gets out of this. 
And um, I'm really hoping that we're going to see an update um, that's way more positive. But anyway, let's get on to the next story. So OP asks, am I the a-hole for telling my husband I am upset he made lunch plans with his friends the day before my C-section, didn't tell me until last minute, and didn't consider inviting me? So I am 31 female, and I'm nine months pregnant with our first child, and I'm booked for a cesarean tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. My husband, 38, is on his second day of parental leave. He will be off work for a month. We had told family we will be hanging out at home together all day today, getting the last few things organized for the hospital tomorrow. It was my understanding that we would be spending the day together, essentially pottering around the house and spending time together. This morning, his mom suggested she come over for coffee to see us before the baby arrives. He said again we would just be home today, so that would be fine, and to come over whenever she liked. When it got to 11 a.m., she hadn't arrived yet. He then said he was annoyed because he was going to be late for a pub lunch with his friend. I was surprised to hear he had made lunch plans and said to him, You're going for lunch? What about me? He said he didn't think I'd want to come and it wasn't a big deal. I felt disappointed as he has a habit of not considering or inviting me when making plans during our time off together, which has mostly been our weekends up until now. His mom came for her visit, which was enjoyable and uneventful. His lunch was brought up by him, and his mom agreed with me that it was a bit strange he had organized to do something without me today. He said again he didn't think it would matter, and it's his last day before becoming a father as well. After she left, he asked if I wanted to come for lunch. By this point, I decided I didn't want to because I kind of felt like a third wheel and unwanted, so I said no. I was setting up the baby monitor when he came in to tell me I should cut him some slack because he's going to be looking after me and the baby for the next month, which is an exaggeration, but fine. So he should be able to go out for, for an hour if he wants. He also wanted me to tell him he wasn't going to have to hear about this again, meaning I understood it was fine and wouldn't bring it up again. This caused an argument as I wouldn't say it wouldn't get mentioned again, and I ended up telling him that I felt disappointed when he had made plans without me and I felt unimportant. He got angry, I cried, he left for lunch, and I don't know whether I'm in the wrong or not. It's not really about him going out with his friend, usually it 100% wouldn't matter at all, but as it's our last day together before a baby arrives, I would just like to have been factored into the decision making and not be told as an aside after plans are already made, am I the a-hole? I think she was justified. It was supposed to be their day together and he made plans on top of that and it, he's saying like, oh, I'm going to be a father, this is my last day. Well, yeah, this is her last day not being a mother, right? <laughs> so she's human just like you. It's You're going through the same stuff. She's actually going through more than you, having to carry the child and all the, you know, stress on the body that that causes and everything. So uh, then she said she felt unwanted, <laughs> which is very sad. I think he's just very inconsiderate. And that's a red flag to me. But anyway, she has an update. She says... I was not expecting the volume of response to this. I'm oscillating between packing hospital clothes and reading comments, but I'll quickly say thank you to everyone who had thoughtful responses. We are both feeling a lot with everything going on tomorrow and emotions and tensions were definitely running high. He wasn't being his best self in the moment and I've definitely had my moments of being hormonal and erupting recently. So while I agree I'm not the a-hole, in this instance, I'll accept there has been some increased sensitivity and insecurity on my part that added weight to the situation. Husband apologized not long after I posted, returned home, and is currently hanging some shelves in the nursery. Sorry to those who suggested we end it, and super sorry to the one who suggested he was out with a side chick. <laughs> um, okay, that's a happy ending, I guess, for now. It's a happy for now ending. Um, I just hope things continue in the right path. I... I don't know, whenever I see like these kind of instances of like a guy being inconsiderate and kind of, you know, not thinking of the wife, especially when there's a child involved, things tend to go downhill from there. I am going to speak positivity over their lives and I hope that things just get better from here. Um, but yeah, let's read some comments. I'd be able to read one because this situation is pretty much wrapped up. This person says, this is 100% not the a-hole. I feel sad for OP that she's having a baby with this a-hole, which he is. OP is essentially a side piece to her own husband. When he has time off, he hangs with friends. He barely considers OP's feelings. Do you really think this a-hole is going to pick up the slack and care for OP and his own child? Exactly. Like the first story that I just read, this is feeling like what the first story led up to, but 
We'll see. They say 10 to 1, after a day, he'll be, quote, burnt out and need to, quote, get out of the house, drinking with his friends. Then he'll say he doesn't know what to do with the child and mothers should do this kind of stuff. And he'll give OP crap for not cooking dinner and doing all the chores. So this person says, that's a little much. Is he expected to include her in all his weekend plans? My husband isn't invited when I go out with my close friends, although we have some get-togethers where we bring our families. And then this person says, it's not about inviting her to lunch. This is their last day of being just the two of them. He should want to do something with her. It's her last day before having major surgery. And then she'll have to recover while being constantly attached to a newborn. So he should give an ish uh, what her last day of freedom is like. Not discussing it at all is super rude. That's what I think too. This person writes, Agreed, the lunch itself wasn't a bad thing, a bit thoughtless maybe, but his reaction was childish, not the a-hole. And then this person wrote, I massively eye-rolled when he said I didn't think you'd want to come. Yeah, a pregnant woman doesn't want lunch. I've been pregnant twice and all I wanted was lunch. And, this, and then OP says, truer words have never been spoken. Aw, uh, I hope he treats her better after the baby gets here, but I guess I'll, um, I'll put a pin in this post and hopefully she comes back with only good news or she's just off enjoying her life with her husband and newborn. Guys, let me know what you think of this story and the first one. And thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and share the video as well. As always, I'll see you in the next one.